So, the Vindicare Assassins came out great, and I pondered at printing them with clear resin, but I couldn't justify the cost of an entire bottle just for a single figure, until I came across some great Tyranid models that would serve as Death Leapers. Turns out they were Von Rhein's Leapers, for whatever. Okay, having bought a bottle of translucent resin onto the printing is going to need a base, so I'm going to print this one from the package. The link is in the description. The laying down sniper is the fellow I am going with, and so auto-generate some light supports and then export to the thumb drive. Okay, pouring my opaque resin back into the bottle, and just as a precaution, I dropped a funnel in, added a small sieve that I propped up by the handle on a roll of paper towels, and poured the resin through it to catch any lumps from fouled prints or bits that may have fallen off. Some places suggest cleaning the vat with alcohol, others have warned that this can lead to misting. And so I went that direction and deployed the recommended microfiber cloth to clean away all of the remaining residual resin. Once properly cleaned, I poured in the clear resin and got that printer running. When they came out, I discovered that the clear resin is a lot more brittle than the opaque stuff, so when scraping them off, the supports tended to shatter and fly all over the place. And because they are clear, they can be quite hard to find afterwards. Anywho, a good rinse in the alcohol and then into the warm water they go for a soak. Taking an exacto to them removes stray struts and apparently there is a means to make them even more clear than this. You do minimal cleaning and then apply a gloss clear coat after curing. It seems that the haze is from surface layer lines from the printing. But I like them like this. Like with my Death Leapers, it's more predator looking, more chameleonic rather than some form of technologically bequeathed invisibility. Now, because of the brittle nature of the translucent resin, I reprinted the bases with my usual opaque resin to ensure their durability. After giving them a blast of primer, the bases get a layer of Abaddon black, and once dry, a dry brush of iron hand steel base across the whole thing to define the metal structures. And then the piles of skulls get a layer of white scar, and then a layer of seraphim sepia shade. And once this was dry, a little dry brush of tyrant skull. So here is my Vindicare assassin. Clad in a Camellio line laced bodysuit that not only protects from hazardous environmental conditions, but enhances reflexes and allows him to blend in with his environment. Gene coded to the individual assassin, the suit helps him remain in hiding for days or even weeks until his spy mask detects the target. Whereupon trajectories, analysis of defenses, assessments of vulnerabilities, and other complex data is fed directly into his cerebellum, so that when the Exodus rifle fires, the round finds its mark and kills the target for the Emperor. <laughs>